Here we are with the NGen Cup semi-finals game two here between Infi Revenant and NGen Baron. NGen Baron in the bottom left, Infi Revenant up the top right. Revenant obviously orange, Baron blue. Probably should have said that all at once instead of sort of back and forth. But still, map is Shakuris, the only other map in the map pool. Uh, I believe you can repeat maps, but you know what? Having a bit of diversity is pretty damn awesome. So it is 1-1. One, one. Winner of this will go forward and play against Jazzbaz in the finals. Now, I'm not sure how good Jazzbaz's ZBZ is. So actually, I'm going to see. Jazzbaz, type in chat. How good is your ZBZ? I know you're in, C, in chat. Are you confident? I want to know. Still, these guys are both playing quite well. We had a very sort of strong... Uh, first game, Revenant played so well. It was ahead for so long. Um, uh, played Roaches. Very strongly, actually. I don't believe that the Baron really went as heavy Ling as he could have, though. There was a push there where if he went Ling instead of Muter, he could have been all right. Um, but still, see if he can go through here. The winner of this is in the finals, and that's awesome. Um, anyway, what are we going to see from these players? Not quite sure. We should see in a second here when they start putting down their first buildings. I do like Hatch first in this map, although I like Hatch first in every map, so whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, we're at 14 supply, there's the gas, so it will be a speedling build from Revenant and also from Baron, so we'll be speedlings and I'm going to just assume into Banelings because it's such a natural progression. If they have a lot of speedlings and you have a lot of speedlings, you kind of want Banelings to kill their speedlings. And then it comes down a lot to micro, and it's always a fun game, and I always miss stuff and that's so annoying. I'll try and be better for you guys. Uh, but yeah, gas is up and the spawning pools are being started by both players here. Pretty synchronized, Revenant's slightly behind. Although not by any significant amount at all, especially on this large map. Uh, drone scouting from Revenant, but not for Baron. In fact, has he scouted? No, oh, yes, he has actually. Drone's here. Actually, he did check across, did he? Oh, no, he didn't. I was going to say, did he check? No. And neither did you, Rev. I was good. I always check people on this map when I cast them. Make sure they don't check that north south spawn, like straight under or above where you spawn, because a lot of people do that, and it just angers me. You can't spawn there, there's no reason to check it. Save your time and try and deny uh, fast expansions. Still, Revenant scouting out the same build as opponent, and of course, Baron walking in here. Baron might be happy. He kind of realized, hey, I kind of did well last game. Evolution Chamber. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Uh, I imagine he'll go plus one with this. Now, is Baron going to. He's obviously scattered. Is he going to try and match that? I mean, you can try and go. I'll just go plus one attack, or even plus one armor. Although plus one armor costs more and takes a bit longer. Uh, it's always really annoying when roaches go plus one attack and you try and go plus one armor for your lings to try and uh, counter. And it takes that much longer and they hit in that window and you're like, Err, happened to me today. Really annoying. Roach one going down for Revenant. Yep. So he's going to be going for the uh, missile attack. So oh, that's actually really fast. That's an interesting build. So it kind of looks like a speedling build, but he's getting plus one really quickly with 100 gas instead of getting zergling speed. Makes sense. I like that a lot, actually. Obviously, on these roaches, we had a two-shot links instead of three-shot. Speaking of links, oh my god, there's some running across the map. In fact, there's quite a few of them. Uh, lair going, wow, fast lair by a baron. Kind of like, yeah, I think you go on roaches. You see the roach warrant? Doesn't need to. He's like, ever. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, four links in here. He's got to pull back and wait for another. Yep, he's got six there. So as long as he doesn't gauge this absolutely horribly. He's got eight, actually. So just attack me through there, man. You got this. You got this. Three roaches coming out now. Plus one attack, not quite finished. Uh, speed is about to be finished. In fact, this could be a really good timing. He's going to have speed when his opponent really won't have plus one. Here it is right now. Here we go. He's going to go in here now. He's going to have four lings there. They're going to get <laughs> decimated. There are some roaches up and a queen. Uh, I believe he should be able to hold this off. More lings pouring in. He's going to get the front roach for sure, but are they going to get the second and third one? Hey, he's going to get three, five lings left. Gets two roaches and has to pull back there. Plus one. Still only two-thirds done, so if he comes in with a few more lings, he might be able to do a bit of damage here. Three more roaches being built. He was Overlord cap there for a second. Six more on the way. They're only halfway done, though. Uh, where's the roach now? Hiding somewhere. There it is. But if he pushes in here with this, could actually kill both of these. Can he get a good surround? Oh, more roaches pop out just in time. Plus one will be finished very soon, so he should be pretty safe here. He's going to target down some lings just to do some extra damage and pull out. Very, very safe. I want to point out as well, no lair done yet, or even started yet from Revenant. So not looking to do... It, it really takes so long to attack Crossfield with these roaches uh, that without speed, it's almost not worth it. Almost. Almost. Well, you can do it. Speaking of which, Spy is almost halfway done. So that quick lair is starting to kick in now. Powering drones is why he doesn't really have that many lings. Can have a lot more lings than this, trust me. But that's safe. He's got plus one. He's got uh, six, seven roaches at the top of that. That... It's what you can do with uh, Lingzo. You can contain him and now expand. But he's gone muters instead. These muters can win the game for him. In fact, he's got 
We can get spore crawls. Is he getting one? Spine crawler. Ooh, I was, gonna, I was a bit worried there. Worried for Baron. But uh, no. No mutilisk. Uh, anyway, stop it. Yeah, he's only got 300 gas though. He's going to need to get a bit more gas than that. He's going to probably yeah, get four muters up straight away. Now, do you wait? That's the question. Do you wait for more? Or do you go straight in and try and hit him before he kind of realizes what's going on here? Here comes a push. He's just scanning for this Overlord. Unfortunately, this Overlord will get killed off. Queens can actually outrun Overlords off creep. Uh, that, that's, that needs to be changed. That's stupid. Oh, I'm sorry, but it's, it is. Overlords is just that slow that a Queen off creep can't run him. Lair almost completed. He needs the Hydra Den right now, but he has no reason to. Uh, Spore Crawler going up. There we go. Uh, Ling's coming in. Mutalists are not done. They're going to run into this, and unfortunately, with plus one, they're not getting in. But it loses all these Ling's there. That's a bit unfortunate. That Spore Crawler will deter quite a lot of those Mutalists harassment. Are they up? They are up. They're going to just pick up a lot of units around here. Um, but look at this. He's actually moving his overlords out of his base now. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. That's going to do quite a bit. Now, the problem with this right now, from Revenant's point of view, it's a Hydra Den. Get an Infestation Pit, but the Infestors can kill them, but they also die to them. You kind of need uh, Hydras and Infestors to deal with a like, big pack of Muters. Uh, might be a bit of trouble here, I've got to say. Uh, also, expanding behind this Baron. I love the expanding. Also, killing off these Overlords. Does it cap his opponent? Yes, it does. He is Overlord Cat right now. It'll take two more. In fact, he just uncapped himself, but look, oh my god, I found three more, um, seal three? Of course he does. Look at that, beautiful. He's got two queens sitting there waiting, so he's going to scare that off, hopefully. Pulls one away, uh, doesn't quite have enough to take care of that, but has he capped him again? Yeah, he has capped him again. He's also waiting for two more overlords to swap out, so that's what killing those uh, straight overlords do, and also keeps your opponent in his base, that's the thing. Right now, if uh, Revenant was to attack... He would die. He would lose. He has nowhere near enough units to do any damage anyway. This one Spore Crawler back here will deter these muters easily. They might come in and get like a few shots off and get uh, a couple of drones. There's one, there's two, there's three, but really should be pulling away. There's four. Losing muters now. Let's be careless. Uh, losing one more. He's only down to three. Oh, coming away with three. He's going to lose that one there. It's two left. So he lost three of his muters there to do a bit of damage. He has seen this expansion though. He has realized his opponent hasn't even started has not even started a Hydra Den. So, ugh, that's just unfortunate. He's relying on Queens to defend. Um, and really not that many Roaches. He's only got six Roaches. He built that initial six to wall off, and then he's gone pure Infester. Now, what's he want to do with that Infester? He's getting Burrow. Might be trying to summon those Burrow shenanigans. The question is, is he going to get an Overseer to detect this? That's the other thing. Um, Burrow can actually win games for you. Just, they just do so much damage, those Infested Terrans. They are slow as hell, though, so they're pretty balanced. Uh, more Mulas coming down here. This is actually a really close game. Let's check supplies real quickly. Exactly the same. Harvester-wise, slight advantage for Baron. Tech-wise, though, slight advantage to Revenant. Um, yeah, what's going to happen from here is my question. He is currently still building Mutalisks. He's getting an Evo Chamber up, so probably will transition into Roach. Uh, there's the Roach Warrens. That's smart. Get it. Get map control. Have five or six Mutalisks. Oh, here come the Infestors. He did this last game. Now, the question is, is there any detection up at all? Absolutely none. That is so disappointing. There's no reason to, to suspect it, obviously, but still, they're going to do a lot of damage now. A few meters up, nowhere near the base. Army-wise, uh, pretty much just Spine Crawlers defending here. If he can just walk straight past those Spine Crawlers, and he can, he'll do a lot of damage here. Middle list, though, there's only one Queen and one Infester there. That's the other thing, though. Uh, Infestors do quite well against them. But here come the Infestors coming in. And some Mutalists in the back here. They're going to do a lot of damage. Oh my god. Fungal growth goes down. Oh, actually, one of them did get fungled. That's a shame. You can actually pick off that uh, Infestor if you're smart. Infestors are pretty cheap. Pretty expensive, sorry. Burrows, but back in this base. They're right there. What's he going to do with them? There we go. Double Fungal. And Infestor Terran. Blah, 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 blah. Come on. Pop it out. Oh, no. No, just use Fungal to kill him. Got two more. He's going to kill all those drones there. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. That's a lot of drone kills right there. Gets a lot of them. Uh, pulls away. Lost a lot of drones here as well. Burrowed a lot, though. I wasn't quite watching that damage. The other, the other attack was a bit more exciting, to be honest with you. Uh, but let's have a check of the drone counts real quickly. For, whoa, 43 to 20. Despite this happening, he's still 43 to 25. That is a significant advantage right now. Middle is over the top here. Does he have any detection? Does have... Well, can't get out now, man. You're stuck. 
Get a spore crawler at the choke as well. Oh, that is smart. Passive detection. That's great, that's great. Uh, throws a couple of infested terrans there. There you go. Uh, that's a bit unfortunate. It's going to get a few more drones. There are a lot of low health ones there. Probably should pull his muse back to deal with this. And he is. That's great. Uh, I'm going to say Baron, though, doing well. I reckon Baron is winning at this point in the game. Let's check the uh, drones. He's winning. Armies, he's winning. So, in pretty much any count that matters, he's winning. Although, I do believe Roach, Infester, and Hydra, if he's going for it, and he isn't, because I'm checking around, I can't see a Hydra den, is a stronger army comp. Now, the only problem is that uh, over here we have the Infestation Pit. Roaches are done, so he gives a push, though. Oh, it's been scattered right now. Mule is just going to walk over there and kill him. Seriously, five meters are going to do that kind of damage. Here we go. Very quick, they're going to try and pull back, though. There's a lot of creeps. Those queens can extend out and try and defend. Just keep in mind, there's only two queens and, couple, and one or two infestors around. Can't quite find them all. Back roach dies. Oh, it's a bit unfortunate. Hope killing that ling was worth it because you've lost the roach for it. Um, but yeah, I, I love how Baron uh, goes uh, muter to gain map control to be out of power drones and then goes into um, roach infester, which is such a stronger comp. And his income is just so far ahead. It's 13 ahead. He's expanding again. It should be at least. Unless his drone's just taking a nap. Oh, secret expansion. I like it. I like it. Um, but yeah, look. These muters, you don't need to lose them. You don't need to be like, I must kill every drone to win the game. You just need to use them to stop your opponent from pushing out with roaches. So if he has more roaches, they don't do anything. You can't really win the game with them, unless he has speed, which he doesn't. Here we go. No, he's not going out. It's going to say he's going to push out there, but no, nope, just pull him back. A lot of infestors back there. Oh, there's the fungal. They're going to die. I'm sorry, those muters are now dead. Just going to get chain fungled until they're dead. I'm actually using quite a few fungals there, but I believe he has enough. Uh, even use the queen to finish that off. That will be dead. One more fungal and he's good and gone. Yep, yeah, there we go. So, Mueller's are now dead. Now we're in a bit more of a ground game here, which is awesome. Um, so, let's check the unit count real quickly. That's what we really care about. We have four Baron. We have 18 Roaches and no Infestors. Versus 23 for Revenant and six Infestors. So, right now, Revenant has an army advantage. Income-wise, though, he is a, a 20 drone disadvantage. That is a massive disadvantage right now. So, if Baron can just hold on for a bit, Mutalus were great for stalling. By the way, this base has been spotted up here, so he knows he needs to attack or expand himself. But if uh, Revenant can attack now and actually get away with it, he needs to win the game with his push, or he needs to start powering drones. Either way, or expand. Here he goes now. It looks like he will attack. Smart choice, smart choice. So, Baron needs to hold this. He has got spine cores down here. Uh, if he pushes up into here, could, you could just be like, yeah, it's just 300 minerals. I'll sack it. Um, or you can try and go in there and catch it off guard. He has got his own infestors. Um, attacking up into this position though is very hard as a very hard. Especially with that side up the hill. Mutalist really got rid of that side. We're just having that, that observer in there. Um, anyway, doesn't know what his opponent's doing. Can he, can he see? Pretty sure he does see him move up into that base there. So what's he going to do? Send some lings out. Anything to defend? A single spine crawler in his natural. Uh, probably can kill that queen. That base is pretty much dead. I'd sacrifice that to follow him. I think he will. He's not moving out with his army. You, you kind of see that and you go, well, if I do attack into there, it's going to be dead by the time I get there and I'm engaging on this choke point here and I'm attacking up into it. That's not a very smart choice. Um, but yeah, no, what you can do actually is do this and move out and catch his opponent's army where you want to attack it, which is, well, actually when he was coming down the ramp when he was a bit at the choke point there. Uh, although I do believe Revenant is behind on army. Oh my god, Roach is going to catch Infestors. They are expensive. Oh my god, Fungals. Wow, it's just like a giant green parade. Uh, Revenant did win this first encounter in the first game, but he is out of Fungal growth. Here we go. It's going to come down a lot to numbers, to be honest with you. Fungals did great damage there. Burrow is not researched yet for uh, Baron, which is unfortunate. Baron does have the Observer over the top there. Using the uh, Infestors to take a few shots there. I have no idea he's ahead, but it looks like Baron might have the advantage here. I don't think he's going to have enough to win the game with this, though, but it's always good to win this first encounter, especially keeping Infestors alive. He needs to pull back now. The opponent has these reinforcements. Might be okay. Instead, he's pushing forward. Ooh, I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but he is doing it anyway. He does not care at all. 